So we're going to zoom in real close so you can see all these angles and such in order to solve this problem. Now again, they've told me that this triangle here, CDE, is equilateral, all the sides are equal, this triangle, ABE, is isosceles, and FAE is isosceles as well. Those are marked with tick marks, and the last thing they told me is that this angle here, EBC, is 40 degrees. And I'm supposed to find out what all the other angles are, every last one. And that uh, some of the ideas I'll be using and are that the straight line adds to 180, that a triangle, the angles in a triangle make 180, that isosceles triangles, the two angles are uh, equal, also equilateral triangles, all angles are equal, find out exactly what that measure is, and uh, also that the exterior angle equals the sum of the two interior angles, the opposite interior. So all those concepts of angles that we've been doing in this chapter I'm going to need to use. So here we go. So the first thing is, the simplest thing is I've got a line here. Uh, and this angle is 40, so this angle would have to be 140 because a line makes 180. And 140 plus 40 is 180. Now, much of these things I'm going to kind of do in my head as I go along. I do not expect you to be able to solve this without writing some things down. This is okay. And if you want to pause this video at any moment uh, just to kind of get yourself to catch up with where I am, that's totally fine. But I need to keep the, keep the video short. So I'm going to do it in my head without writing everything down. Plus, I don't have a lot of space. So this is 140. It's an isosceles triangle, though. A, B, E is isosceles. So this angle and that angle there have to be the same. So if this is 140, the whole thing is 180. That leaves 40 left over for these two angles. And if they're the same, that means each one's half of 40 or 20. So that's 20 degrees and that's 20 degrees. Okay, now I feel like maybe I'm kind of stuck. There's no way I can find that one out. No way I can find that one out. But if I look over here, I have an equilateral triangle. Equilateral means all, uh, that all the sides are equal, and like we just said, all the angles are equal. If all angles are equal, there's three of them, and they add to 180, then what number times 3 equals 180? Again, that would be like dividing 180 by 3, so it's 60. Every angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. That's true for this one, because it adds to 180, all the angles are same. It's also true for that one. All those would be 60. So there I have those. Well, now I got, look, another line. So this angle right here, that's 60. That's got to add up to 180. 60 plus 120. I'm going to draw an arrow here because I'm running out of space. That's 120 degrees. Now I have a triangle here with 40, 120, and I don't know that one. They have to add up to 180. So 40 plus 120 is 160. So I need another 20 degrees to make 180. So there's 20. And here I'm going to keep going. I have another line and I have a bunch of angles. But do you see how I have 60, 20, 20, and the only one I don't know is this last one. Well, what's 60 plus 20? That's 80. Plus another 20 is 100. So I've got 100 here. How much is left to make a full line of 180? That would be 80 degrees left. Well, now this is an isosceles triangle. And because it is, this angle and that angle are congruent. So that would be 80 degrees as well. And we're only left with one more angle down here, which is in this triangle. And these two are 80, which add to 160, which leaves how much for this? If the whole triangle equals 180, and I got 160 there, how much is left? What is left is 20. And so there we go. We have a bunch of triangles where they just tell us certain sides are congruent and they tell us one angle. And from that, we can find every other angle in the shape.